this is Shana Light. Welcome back to my channel. Today, this pick a card reading is on no contact. Will they reach out? So, think of the person you have no contact with and you'd like to have contact and you still think about this person. And let's find out if they will reach out to you, if you will get in contact again with this person. So as usual, we have here three possibilities. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. And we have here these tarot cards from the deck Santa Muerte. Then I'm pulling cards from the Romance Angels deck and also here from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. I don't know if you can focus, you can see it. And also from two decks of mine, like this one here. And they will give us like messages and also like a timeline if possible. Let's see. And really new, my charms. So, so take your time choose your pile and you can pause the video if you'd like and I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one here with the Moonstone, this is your reading. So will they reach out? Like I said, let's start with the Oracle, not the Oracle, with the Tarot cards. And here we have the Five of Cups. Then we have the King of Cups. And the Six of Wands. So right off the... Right, I'll try that again. Right out of the bat. I would say, yes. This person will reach out. But it's going to take some time. This is what I get here with the Five of Cups, because there has been some upset between you two, right? Some One of you or even both of you are hurt. And this person, uh, it seems that this person has been thinking a lot about you. And you see here, there's a maze here in this skeleton's head. And it's like, trying to find a way out of it. It's like this person, I have the feeling that this person did something to you or didn't do something like reach out and contact you, for instance. And it could be, that's the feeling I get here, like this person is sitting in this pond, lake, water. Um, that a long time has passed. And just like, should this person try and reach out? How would it be accepted? Now, the thing I get here for most of you, taking the images of the cards, is like it's going to be in a social setting. It could be a party, it could be, you know, hanging out, it could be a cafe, a bar, a club, could be, you know, even being outside. Um, it's just like there are people there and there are also drinks involved. I'm getting here like this person will drink courage, you know, like drink up courage in order to go to you. And this person also wants to look their best and look successful, look cool, look, you know, at the top of their game. And, uh, and it can be that their approach can be somewhat strange, you know, like acting cool and being so, hey, what's up? And uh, you know, any kind of phrase or any kind of uh, approach that is actually not really from the heart, but more, um, at least uh, at the surface, it's lo it looks like, you know, they're trying really hard to be cool about it, you know. But actually, we hear with the Five of Cups is they're really wanting to impress you. Also here with the Six of Wands, they're really wanting for you to accept them. And they're a bit afraid that you'll reject them. They're a bit afraid that you'll turn away because, oh, ow, I'm getting the feeling 
because um, they feel guilty. I mean, it's a really sad feeling now in my chest as well. It's like they've done that to you. You know, take it as it resonates. But I think for many that chose pile one, this person has done that to you. They kind of uh, either ignored you, ghosted you, or, you know, denied you, so to say, you know. Or even, could even, that there was some humiliation here. Something like that. And they're afraid that you'll get back at them. They're afraid that you've closed your door forever. And uh, so, again, they'll have to drink up some courage. Because they have all these feelings bottled, bottled up. And they haven't expressed them. Maybe to no one. You know, not even a best friend. So I'm getting for some of you. So this person has been feeling quite lonely, um, you know, alone with their pain or alone with their yearning. Um, like they're not really understood by other people because maybe other people don't know what they see in you or are against this uh, connection. I think it's like, it's what I get also here with this labyrinth, you know, is how to get something to work, how to get past some opposition. I think this person feels a bit lost and this person has been lost. Maybe this person even had some other kind of addictions here with the alcohol. It doesn't have to be alcohol, but it's what I'm getting. Um, but this person will find the courage to contact you, to reach out to you. And like I said, it will be in a public setting. It will be somewhere with other people. Maybe there's a celebration, something like that. And things will go well. That's what I'm getting, especially here with the Six of Wands. Things will go well and it will be fun. And kind of unexpected as well. It's uh, what I'm getting, especially for you, it will be kind of unexpected. But I think you will be in a good mood is what I'm getting. And you'll be open enough, you know, to say, hi or to answer anything they'll ask or something like that or to you know start the conversation not to start but to answer to the conversation and um yeah and start contacting one another again hmm, this is right really interesting but it could be that you also have been in this feeling you know a feeling lost a feeling sad um and actually thinking that this relationship is actually over, you're just asking because maybe you're nostalgic uh, or maybe there is even some resentment there. And uh, But this person will reach out. He, this person hasn't forgotten about you. There has been some confusion and this needs to be cleared. Let's see what the other cards say. So we're getting now messages from the Romance Angels. Oh, okay, this one wants... Okay, see... This person hasn't forgotten about you. There are romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. This person still has feelings for you. So one more time. There you go. And give your relationship a chance. And there you go. So I'll put it here more to the side. So calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together, right? And work on your partnership. So this person will reach out. They will give this a chance. And it's like they've been praying for a chance. They'll be praying for an opportunity to be with you. So this card is also telling you not to give up completely you know send this person because i think this person is a bit lost and maybe this person has fought some kind of addiction could even be an emotional addiction and it could be that this person needs some healing some positive lights some positive energy uh being uh sent his or her way so this is something that you could do for instance send them positive energy send them light and uh, so for them to heal as quickly as possible and for them to gain clarity about what they want and how to go about it. And at the bottom of the deck, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there's a, still a lot of passion between you two. This still connects you. Now, more information here. Let's take this one here, this wellness island. 
or island time wellness so will they reach out okay this one is looking at me then we have coffee cup yeah we have meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so it's a cup a coffee cup like i said it's like a um a public setting could be a coffee shop could be a bar like i said or you just meet up and talk and but you'll be in contact again this is 100 percent then we have the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth changed mind wow this is really beautiful so you're here to give uh, your relationship a chance and this is what this person will do they really have to drink up their courage but this is what they're wanting beautiful the one last card here this one clock need time takes time in time class cycles time to heal progress yeah so this can take some time but i think like because it also says in time it could be for instance um divine timing you know it will be just in time it will be when the time is right so uh, what the court is telling me is for you not to worry about when and how and because it will happen at the right time because this person still needs some time they they are going through some very confusing times as well then healing heart oh my god is that beautiful healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction remember your person has to deal with some kind of addiction and it could be emotional like i said so like a toxic relationship and this person is still getting over it so this is what i told you earlier here about sending positive energy is quite important for this person and for you as well because you'll probably have the feeling that you know you're helping you're participating you're doing something wonderful for this person so Let's also get some cards from this deck here. So here I have to shuffle differently because I, I like when they jump here. Just, let's see if I can do it here in front of the camera. Oh, there you go. Happy, happy times are coming. So one more. Oh, they got us two. Okay. So we have baby, happy baby, July. Okay, this reading is timeless. But I'm recording this in June, so July is next month, so ooh. But baby, so it could have mean several things, so take it as it resonates for you. It could be that you could have children with this uh, person. Maybe some of you have already a, a, a child or children with this person. It could be that there could be the possibility of having children with this person. So if you don't want to have children, so take the due precautions, please. And um, and can be that this person already has a child from another relationship. And maybe it's, that's also the reason why it's so difficult to break free from an unhappy situation, right? Children are quite important. And if this person is staying in a relationship because of the child, this speaks for their personality as well but of course every situation is different right now more messages of july this is incredible so next july doesn't matter when you're watching this but next july looks very promising so we have here oh god there you go this this is like their messages to you we already have two so i can't do this anymore and i don't know what to say so i think this is like with the five of cups i can't do this anymore not contacting you or you know pretending not to know you or ghosting you and thinking of you but they don't know what to tell you they don't know what to say so okay this one you're all i ever wanted oh yeah there's a lot of love here there's a lot of wishful thinking there's a lot of dreaming 
but you know like they don't know what to do about it not yet and bottom of the deck i will fight for you love that's that beautiful so they will make that decision they will move forward that's amazing that makes me so happy and let's get here some charms this is the first time i'm moved using this or maybe the second time so i'll just close my eyes and get see what gets out okay. so inside i also have like mini tarot cards let's see so so you can see it we have the star so the star is protection the star is lighting the way so there will be clarity there will be hope new hope in this relationship then we have here um a shell have here this shell and this is for me communication i don't know if you ever heard this for me it comes from my childhood if you put this shell on your ear you'll hear the ocean it's also getting insights getting that clarity again and communication so maybe some of you will have a phone call from this person then here we have the letter h and they have the dice with number one so in one month yeah, that will be July. Okay, so if um, you're in another timeline, so there will be developments coming in one month as well for you. And then we have the apple. With the apple, the apple for me is life, is uh, healthy beginnings or a healthy start. But of course, you also have the apple. Um, you can have the apple of my eye. You are the apple of my eye. You are my star, my sunshine. And, and also, of course, the temptation. So you're always a temptation in this person's mind. Person's mind. It's like you're always in their back, the back of their mind. You know, it's like they cannot stop thinking about you. But let's see what cards we have here. We have the devil, again, for the temptation. I hope you can see it. You're really small. A friend of mine gave it to me. We have, again, the six of wands. We have the seven of cups. We have the page of cups. I hope you can see them. They're really, really small. And uh, we have the sun. We have the um, judgment card. We have the four of wands. What else? What else? We have the ace of swords. We have the um, empress. And the last one is the Nine of Cups. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. The Nine of Cups. This is so beautiful. So, yes, there may be some confusion, like with the devil, again, still dealing with some kind of addiction or some kind of problem, some kind of pattern, you know, that because this card here came, was like reversed. I can see that this keeps them from moving forward. And they're very confused here with the Seven of Cups. Maybe they are, you know, it could be that they're very attractive as well and they have many people after them or they have like this charisma that makes them very attractive to other people. And so they can have many options as well. For some of you, this could be true. And, uh, but they, they, they're a bit confused about which way to go and how to do things. But again, they want to offer you something and the page is always a card of communication as well so they want to communicate and clarity will come there will be like this rekindling like we said uh, or had earlier and again with the four of wands this is also a party this is a celebration a social setting and clarity is clearing things communicating and the empress of course is success is sexuality sensuality is passion and with the nine of um, cups is a wish coming through so you are what they always wanted they see you as this empress it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman they see you as something they can build a future with something they want to enjoy savor <laughs> you know someone they want to savor like in a luxurious kind of way that's the feeling I'm getting. This is really fantastic. So yes, file number one. Yes, you'll be getting in contact again. This person is still a bit confused, still has some demons to face, 
but as soon as they can, as soon as they find clarity in their lives, they'll, may they'll be moving towards you. And for many of you that are watching the, now this in June, it will be in one month's time. It will be in July. That's amazing. So I wish you a wonderful time, full of love. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description below, um, below, sorry, as well as the link to my Instagram account. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And also to write a comment. I love to read your comments and I always answer them as often as I can. So have a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading here with the Prenite Stone. Okay, will they reach out? And I just wanted three cards from the deck, but you got four. So let's see what they say. The first one is the Tower, number 16. Then we have the Two of Cups. Wow. And we have the world, number 21. So let's move this a bit. Let's do this a bit differently. Let's look up where we have more space. And we have the Six of Swords. So I would say yes. Uh, this is for me a yes. You'll be moving forward with this relationship. Now, this can may take different shapes and different forms. Um, and of course, take it like with a pinch of salt and take it as it resonates for you. The thing is, it will come quite unexpectedly here with the tower that will be really out of the blue when you least expect it, when you're not thinking about it, doom, bang, there it is. And um, and it has been very confusing, this relationship, you know, because you have here, it's like based on Escher, the artist. If you don't know him, you know, look him up. It's um, because you'll know the drawings. It's impossible not to have seen it before. Um, and with Escher, what's typical is all these stairs that lead nowhere and are in different uh, dimensions or different uh, perspectives and can be quite confusing. And I think it's like, your situation is like, you know, you were never seeing things eye to eye. One was here, the other one was there, and then the next, you know, and then there you were. And you're never on the same page. You're never seeing things eye to eye. And it didn't even have to be like uh, fights or, or arguments. It's just sometimes you were interpreting uh, things in different ways. And that led to a lot of confusion and uh, misunderstandings and even to the, you know, going different ways and losing contact with one another. It doesn't matter if that was intentional or not. It's just, you know, when you look back, you don't know what happened. You have no idea what happened. You're very confused. And so... When it comes, it will be so out of the blue. It will be so unexpected. It will be even kind of scary. But it's like this person will just let you know what they want. You know, they will be telling you um, what they really feel. And you see here, she... I think it's a she. I'm saying she's a she because she's smaller. Um, she's holding his heart, right? So this one here is holding the other's heart. And it's like they will kind of confess to you that they never forgot about you, that you always had their heart in your hand, even if you don't know, right? They, you always had a hold on them. And it doesn't matter where they were, how long they've traveled and how far they've gone. It's like you are always on their mind. And, and, and they were always on your mind as well. And it is so beautiful. It's like there's a link that's indestructible. I'm sorry. Indestructible. So it's like 
nothing can really actually pull you apart. And then here with the world, the world is always a happy ending, right? It's the next level. And the next level is really going to calmer waters and making this relationship work in a positive way. But now, this is the, a different scenario right now for some of you. It could be that you have the chance to talk, you have the chance to open the, your hearts to one another, and this will be the happy ending and the moving forward. It will be closure, because the world is also something coming to an end, right? So you'll find closure and you can move on, both of you, right? Because for some of you, I'm getting 2%, but still you're watching this, it's like you could never move on from this person. Always stuck, you know, in this memory, in this probably even resentment. And now you'll have the opportunity to find closure and move on. And you'll feel freer, right? But for the most of you, it will be the next level of the relationship. Yeah, you will go to calmer waters. Maybe you even travel together, or this has to do with traveling to one another. You know, like um, I have here the feeling as well of uh, long, dis long distance relationship, or you've never met someone. Uh, some of you, it will be an online relationship as well, and you'll be able to meet right? So there'll be the next level. Some of you will be moving in together. Some of, um, of you will be seeing each other for the very first time. So it's, it's going to move forward. It's going to move forward. And actually this confusion with the tower made you realize how, how deeply you feel for one another. And, and this will move things forward. So what things now, what seems now to be chaotic, what seems now to be cruel, is actually opening the way to a happy ending or to a happy next level. Let's put it that way. It's better. So, but let's get more messages. Let's get now the Romance Angels Oracle. So, so will they reach out? Will they reach out? Pile number two. One more time. There you go. So, will they reach out? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This also came for pile number one. Work on your relationship. Give your relationship a chance. So, yes. But I think like here again, you're not communicating. This can even take some time, right? But we also have a couple here. So it can be that when you reconnect, you just need time to be together alone again. Just the two of you and no interference from other people. And uh, But I also have the feeling for some of you, this will take some time. And I'm getting here calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Pile number one also got that one. And here at the bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. Your experience, you experience more love in your present moments. So it's uh, there's some resentment here that uh, needs to be let go of. Like I said, there's needs... There is the need of finding some closure as well, of letting go of the negativity of the past in order to move forward. But let's see here with this here, with the, oops, with the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle. Wait a second. There you go. But this one wanted to come out. Okay, Karmic Relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, that there's some need of letting go first. Of, uh, you know, being one with yourself. Because like I said, this person will contact you when you really least expect it. So there is some work here of letting go first. 
Then we have keys in a, keys in a ring. We have many options, decision, and conventional string along one night stand. Then we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So what I see here is like there will be the decision of, um, of coming forwards, of coming towards you. And uh, you are easily triggered by this relationship. It really um, hit a spot in you which is still hurt and it has to do something with it, with a uh, uh, trauma situation, but this person triggers you. And, and this person maybe has treated you in the past as just one of many, or, you know, just like, oh, okay. Or you had that feeling because that's your trigger, you know, and the way they behaved that brought that wound back up to the surface. But the card here saying, hey, you're finding clarity this person is coming forward and is going to tell you he or she is going to tell you exactly how they feel and how they felt and that actually they want a, a second chance they want to come back into your life so they're telling you you know be light-hearted it is really here a situation of letting go you don't to let go you don't need to hate the other person you just need to let it flow right and then bottom of the deck we have abundance keep a positive mindset again that's what we're talking about manifest exactly what you want and gratitude and bliss so this is the change also within you you know not being too attached to the end result but just getting to that positive energy and that's why you also get that card earlier about calling in your soulmate about those visualizations, prayer, positive thinking. But let's see here if we get more messages here with this deck. So this one I'll have to shuffle. I'll try here in front of the camera. There you go. We have two cards or even three already. Okay, we have big. We have family and soulmate and October. So this could be next October. It doesn't matter when you're watching this. It could be next October that this person is finally reaching out to you. And it's going to be something really big. This is a big connection and it's really a soulmate connection. You know, with karmic relationship, I don't care about labels. Love is love. It doesn't matter how you label it. It doesn't matter how long, how short, how deep, how surface, uh, you know, how shallow. It doesn't matter. Is uh, love is love always. And, uh, and I think it's like with karmic relationship, it's like this person triggers you. It's like this person wanting or unwantingly, this person just now knows how to push your buttons even if it's uh, unconsciously yeah, or subconsciously. And this person really knows how to push you, you know. And um, so that's why I think here they call it a karmic relationship. But everything is karmic. You know, if you're an old soul, you already know everyone. So you'll have baggage with everyone in the world. <laughs> so and this is like family. This person feels like family to you because it's soulmate and you... Some of you, you already have like like family with this person, or maybe your cousins, something like that. But the the um, the biggest here, or the most intense meaning here, is that you're able to have a family with this person, to form family. That you two, you end up getting married, or end up end up getting kids and living together, and it will be something big. It will be a big family. Okay. Oh, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. So this deck here is messages from them to you, what they would like to tell you. So pile number two, what would they like to tell you? There you go. Let's see. No, I have to shuffle it. Sorry. It's too much. Okay, what would they like to tell? Pile number two, what messages? 
okay this one oops happy end there will be a happy end they want a happy end with you and there are too many but you know what let's just take the first ones okay happy end it will work out you are so beautiful and you are my best friend yeah this person is really your soulmate you are really each other's best friend so no 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 wonder you're triggered by this person no wonder you're sad or you want to know what's going on and i am not ready for commitment yet but they will be don't worry that's why it will take some time for them to gain some clarity they found you beautiful. They know it will work out. It will, there will be a happy end. You are their best friend. They're just maybe afraid of commitment. You know, they're just probably not ready or mature enough. Let's see. Then we have the charms. So we already have two coming out. I'll just close my eyes and get whatever comes. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. So we have here a crystal ball. It's a marble. Uh, we have here the six of wands. We have the, oops, the king of cups. Wait, I have to put it like this. Yeah. The six of wands, the king of cups. And here is the eight. Let's see if you can see it. The eight of cups in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse so it's going to take some time so it's not going to be immediate yeah but this person has a lot of feelings for you this person wants things to work out and with the eight of cups in reverse it's like this person wants to reverse their um, you know they're like sep the separation between you two. This person wants to come back. This is what I'm getting. Oh, you also got an H. Pile number one also got an H. So I hope it resonates with you. I'll put it like that so you see it's an H. And, uh, and again, oh, I have here another card. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. Stopping the pain. Getting rid of all this pain. So being apart from you, you know, being away from you, this person, it, it makes this person hurt. This person wants this to end. And for me, it's like this person has been watching you as well. You know, like it could be internet, it could be asking friends. I'm, I'm getting feeling this um, person watches your photos and your posts. And number six is the lucky number. So again, this person is really, I'll put it here so you can see it. So this person is really betting on um, winning with you, on being successful with you. And here with this symbol, you see it's like symbol of it could be the symbol of eternity, but it's for me, it's like the soulmate symbol. Birds of one feather being connected to one another no matter what. Then we have this elephant. Elephant is a symbol of loyalty, of family, and also of uh, uh, great memory. So this person hasn't forgotten about you. This person still knows everything about you, still thinks a lot about you. And this person wants to return, but this person wants to do it the right way. Because elephants are also known for their social stru structures, and they're very conservative as well. And they have a, a high sense of justice. So this person wants to do it the right way. And here again, this is a shell. There will be communication. And again, it's just like, because it's in the reverse. So this person is still thinking what to say. There's a lot they want to say, but it's like it's not really coming out. That's why I also have the King of Cups here. Because King of Cups has a lot of feelings, deep feelings, but keeps them to himself. You know, that's one of the interpretation of the card. And I think this is what's happening here as well. But they will move forward to latest in October.
next October. So pile number two, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description box below as well as um, the link to my Instagram account. And please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And also to leave a comment. I always read your comments and I answer as often as I can. So you have a wonderful time. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three with the rose quartz, this is your reading. So will they reach out? So we're starting here with the tarot cards. We have the page of pentacles. We have the empress number three. And we have the strength number eight. Now, this is quite interesting. I think there is the wish of reaching out, something this person has been considering from different perspectives, weighing the pros and cons, but something keeping them from doing it, right? So here, what I would say is like a maybe. It's not a no, but it's not 100% a yes. So it's like it's still being decided. I know when we see the emperance, we tend to say yes immediately, right? And the strength, like, so, oh, okay, we are um, battling our demons and there will be a happy end and so on. But what I see here <clears throat> with these pictures, right? I see all of them saying kind of the same thing, right? It's like this person, maybe this person teases you a bit. You know, this person could be someone who shows themselves or gives you some kind of attention in some little way, right? Maybe you see that this person sees your stories or that this person likes something you posted, for instance, on the social media, or this person walks by your house or your friends tell you they saw this person. It's like I have the feeling for you, pal number three, that this person makes them makes him or herself noticed. I'm not saying this person is manipulating or playing games, but it's like they still want to be in your life, but they're not reaching out 100%, if you know what I mean. It's like this person wants you in their back. <laughs> I know I'm taking this quite literally, but it's reminding me of a song. Um, it's actually a Portuguese song and it's really old song and it's actually more like fun thing and saying that I, um, the, the rough translation would be I want a really hot man to put in my bag and take home you know uh, it's a silly song but that's what I see here it sees you as something of value something to keep but it's not really doing anything with it right it's putting in a bag for later to use or, uh, you know. They see you have value. They know you do, but still hasn't decided how, you know, how to spend this money on or it, you don't see it doing anything with it with, except putting it in a bag. So they have you in their mind. And in their heart, I would say as well. And here with the Empress, I'm, I'm really being a bit pedantic here. And I think it's that the energy of this person you're thinking about. They're a bit pedantic in the sense they're considering every aspect. And would it work? What would my friends say? What would my family say? What would my co-workers say? What would my cat say? What would the cow of the neighbor say? You know, if they have, live in a farm. <laughs> but it's like... They consider like everything, but not really what they want. It's I, I feel like it's kind of a blockage there, some kind of like, and you know, with the Empress, I'm seeing a kind of that as well, because she's not really open. She's there looking pretty, beautiful, but she's hiding behind this. And the scepter is also in front of her body right? And she has crossed her legs. 
So she, she's actually quite closed off. She seems inviting, but she's closed off, right? So she's alluring in her way, but she's not really letting you in. And that's the feeling I get here with this person, right? They, so they make themselves noticed, you know, they kind of show themselves, but they're not letting you in. They're not really reaching out. Or it's more like this attitude, you come and get me, you know, and it could be a kind of power play here. And speaking of power plays, then we have the strength. The strength is fighting your inner demon, is fighting your blockages, is overcoming your inner obstacles, right? So that's what we have here with this wrestler, with this Mexican wrestler. And through this, you know, because we have the sun at the back, so through this wrestling, we have a lot of clarity. And I think this is what this person will be gaining, this clarity. But until then, it's still like, you know, like getting near, but then backing away, almost reaching out, but ah, no, no, no. Ugh. You know, while with pile number one, that person had to drink up their courage, you know, this person is so much in their head, is so much stuck in their heads or afraid of because of past experiences that ah, uh, they want to, I, I feel them wanting to reach out. I really feel them wanting to be with you or having your attention, but I'm not seeing them really doing anything not yet because they're still in this strength they're still closed off but they haven't forgotten you you're still in their mind you're still in their heart hmm that's why i'm saying a maybe a big fat maybe so sitting there right because this person has to go past that dragon past that demon yeah let's see what the other cards say if they confirm this or if they give us further information Right? See so here, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is what the person has to do. And they're blocking themselves. So let's see. One more time. So pile number three, will your person reach out? So I just moved the camera, sorry for that. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life, so yes. So here we have a yes, they are returning, but it may take some time. Let's see what else, because there is still a lot of passion. Of course there is. Look here at the Empress. Yes, they want you. They know your value. They know you're sexy, beautiful, intelligent, creative, abundant. Yes, all of that. The passion is still there. But they're still stuck here and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So there's something there from the past that they're still healing. They're still going through that. And I think that's the, that's the demon. That's the, that's the lion or the demon or the dragon or the ghost of the past. They still, they're still dealing with. And I think they'll approach you when they're done with that. So, because you need to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And that's what you want. You want to clear this. You know, you want maybe closure or maybe just, you know, bring clarity to the situation and let us move on together, right? But it's like this person here is looking away, still not ready, still like too conflicted for some reason right? Not open enough, although they want to, although their heart is in it. Wow. Interesting. Pile number three. You're really, really interested in your case. It's this person blocking themselves. So I think it really will take some time for this person to really reach out. This person wants. But I think also the moment you reach out, you, both of you will explode with passion for one another and You'll be able to clear the past. You'll be able to heal the past. This is also the interpretation I'm getting. It's really beautiful. Now, let's see what here the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle has to say. 
Let's see here. Will they reach out to the person? Wow, three. I'm not sure yet. So, seeing them one already. There you go. Ooh, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That's harsh. Let's see what else we have. Self-indulgent. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, and abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Here with the Green Ripper, you know, it's like, I think on one hand, oh, wait, what we have here? Yes, you'll have to date. You'll meet this person again. So don't be upset with the Green uh, Ripper. Because I think it's one of the things this person is probably thinking, you know, that's why they're putting you in their bag, maybe even as a memory. Okay, that was beautiful because they think it's over. They think um, you don't want anything with them. You know, like they see you, they are looking beautiful, but they're afraid you closed off to them. So, hey, there's nothing happening. You can look, but you cannot touch. But, and this may be one of their fears and this is something you know they really have to jump over their shadow in no more in order to move forward and come to you and probably they're now you know licking their wounds or you know um trying their best to look confident and and strong to you you know in your eyes and the thing is also here this is also a message for you Say, like, concentrate on yourself, focus on yourself. I think this person is doing the same. They're focusing on themselves and they're trying to get that confidence back, their positivity back. So this is also for you to, you know, concentrate on your abundance, concentrate on your positive mindset, because you'll be able to manifest what you set your mind on. And you will get this date here. Meeting someone new, it doesn't have to be, could be the same person because we have the reconciliation card Dating, getting back out there, plan and set a date. I think that's what you guys will do with one another, right? Important. So let's get here some more messages here with this deck. So I'll have to shuffle it here. So, because I need these cards to jump. There's one here. Oh, we have October again. Pile number two also got October. So what else? This one here. Nothing. <laughs> but we have proposal. That will be that will be a proposal. And oops, and that one jumped. Let's go. And family. Okay, there you go. Pile two also got the family card. So and here we have illusions. So careful with your illusions. Let go of illusions, right? So what they're saying is really focus on yourself. Focus on what is and then taking good care of yourself. Because in October, next October, it doesn't matter when you're watching this, next October. And if you're watching this in October, so yes, that's the October. You'll be hearing from this person and this person will have the proposal. And the proposal can be just you know, let us uh, go for a coffee and have a date, go for a drink and so on and so on, go for a date, right? And, uh, and it could be that you see also this person in a family setting, for instance, but this could be a person as well you can start a family with. Or maybe this person, you know, has very strong ties to their family. And uh, so they could be one of these opponent or opposing forces to your uh, connection and um, but I think that you'll be able to overcome this yeah that's what I'm getting but it I see also starting a family of this person already has children for instance or you already have children and they will be like welcomed uh, and also well integrated into your situation if that's the case right now, we also have here charms, so, yes, so, so I'll just close my eyes and try to get something out of the also, and one more time, okay. 
So we have this dice here with number three. So this could be three months. Three months, it will be September. We have here October, right? Uh, or number three is really important to your connection. Take it as resonates. So we have now here the letter C. So I'll just turn them to you so you can see them, okay? So the letter C and D. There you go. I think it makes sense. And here we have a six. We have the number six with these dice. So it could be six weeks. It could also be like the number here. It's the number, the lucky number of victory. So things will work out. We also have here mini, 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 really tiny, tiny tarot cards. Here we have the nine of swords. So a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of... Uh, staying up all night because of this connection we have the sorry we have the wheel of fortune can you see it there you are. we have the wheel of fortune here so things are about to change we have the seven of of swords in reverse so the seat um, misunderstandings and ghosting and getting out of the way will be over. And we have here then the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new opportunity coming your way of starting something of value. Here we have Turkey's stone. So this is a, a, a stone of protection, of bringing clarity to communication as well. So again, we have here the confirmation of communication. And here we have pile number two also got this. So maybe you could watch pile number two as well, if you like, you know, if you feel called to, because this is the soulmate connection. You very you have a very strong link to one another. There you go. Now I got it. Have strong link to one another. You feel very connected to one another. It's like, again, like I said, the wood pile uh, to your birds of one feather, you know. And then we have here. This is uh, the Jacob's shell. This is what you get as well when you go to in a pilgrimage. And so this is also like the feeling of a pilgrimage. It takes a long time. I know it's October from... Till October is not that long, you know, because I'm filming this in June, but still it feels like I really had to cross mountains to walk long distances. It's like pay for your sins almost. The pilgrimage doesn't have anything or not to force it, um, to have um, anything to do with paying for sins, but um, it seems like a really long, long road. And I'm getting that song, um, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. It's like it's a long, long road, right? Getting that song, because that's how it feels like. But, you know, it's like, but it ain't, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. It's like, because you're so connected to one another, you know this connection is right, that you don't mind the weight or you don't mind the psychological burden in this case. And there's a change coming, you know, all this, the ghosting, the seating and not answering, this will come to an end and better days are coming. There will be a reconciliation and there will be a lot of forgiveness in, um, in your path. So pile number three, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. If you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description box below, as well as the link to my Instagram account. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And please leave a comment. I love to read your comments and I always answer as often as I can. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful time.